Got the gold bait. A couple different. I got the white and chartreuse. I think I got shrimps too. They're pretty cool. There's something different working. Starting with the three-way dropper kind of rig. Was he a sea? Oh yeah, that's a sea. A little bigger than I thought. Wow, not bad. Beautiful water looks beautiful today. Ooh. Water's great. A little bit of everything today, not sure, but I am starting off today. This is a, a three-way or a, yeah, three-way uh, gold break. Uh, got it set up about, uh, well, with the sinker, it's got to be about seven inches and about seven inches. The important part is you want that rope to line up with that sinker. Oh, it's a sea robin. Oh, no, it's a big popper. That's a big popper. Whoa. Oh. I thought he was a fluke. Very cool. I'm going to get him on his way. Well, I'm going to probably take a walk. See what else is out there. Go ahead, Spike. Go. So I got the gold. You could start short, long, see what's out there. Just getting it out, letting it drop, and drift. Drop and drift. Maybe it's slightly, slight, slight tension on the line. These ones are a little, seem to be a little, a little bigger. Oh, than what they've been. We got the three-way rig. We're going to... Oh. The three-way rig for, for fluke. That way. Wrong way. There it goes. You got it. You can use all kinds of hooks for these gulps, but that, today I'm using that's a size, I believe, 2-0. I think it's a size 2, but I think it's a 2-0 Kamikatsu bait holder. Though. Those flukes come in kind of funny. Uh, a lot of times those big ones, whoa, you get the glide and Oh, wow, he's decent fish. Yeah. They kind of glide in. So, I, like I said it before, you get sometimes the small ones, like this guy, feel smaller guys will feel bigger than the bigger guys just because they kind of sometimes the bigger ones will glide in today i'm using the this is cast and tackle we were here 5500 c3 uh fairly long rods two ounces i want to get out there i want to get that that sinker out there and hit, hit that those fluke way out sometimes they'll be in other times they'll be way out so i'm focusing on way out so that's why i'm working with this rod today this is something Over here, probably a, probably a big robin. I think I've seen some. Get her now. Oh, this one. Yeah, that's a robin. Wow, that's a big robin. Holy smoke. I was just going to say, wow, that is a big robin. I was just going to, that is a big robin. I was just going to say, didn't see many of these guys. But this guy came in a grand, grand. Holy cow. Uh, three ray rig, two ounces, uh, two o hook, gold bait, and 
just kind of get that gulp on there. And the one thing I like about this rig is you kind of ride that gulp a little high up. And if Luke's looking up, they'll come up and grab it. Another cool thing is um, your line's kind of fairly taut most of the time. So if you notice, all our hook sets are all right in the jaw, like the, the, the best place to hook the fish, obviously. And uh, it avoids those deep hook sets. Sometimes with the slide rig, any slide rig, there's a bit of slack and they open their mouths and they'll, you know, they really will take that gulp deep. With this, your line is usually very taut. And a fish will come in and it's immediately hooked. Picking up fluke with the three-way rigging with the gulp today. Working our way up, seeing what's going on out there. And he's, I've seen him. He's spitting up uh, something or another. There we go. Want to be careful. They're slippery. Just as slippery as that. And one of the nice things about the abundance of fluke is I really like to fish for them, uh, see what else is going on in the water. Uh, in water like this, you're going to see blues tracing up and down. You're going to know if they're bait, mackerel, uh, what's going on. And in the meantime, you're getting some nice fluke and a chance to get big ones to take home for dinner. And uh, big, well, we got that big pumper fish, giant sea robin. It's really an ideal fish to, to look for. Move up. That one big, big one. That was for sure. <clears throat> this is a regular size, a little smaller. Sea robin, treeway rigging uh, gold today. See you, bud. I'm using a 30-pound monofilament line with the 2.0 Gamakatsu bait uh, octopus hook, two-ounce sinker. Uh, 30 pounds, just got the right stiffness, and I have that all to a barrel swivel, just in case something else happens out there, I can just throw on my jig or top water or anything like that. Really working the, the range. That was smaller than I thought, but these food could just really Great bear. There go. Two ounce three way rigging. So let me get her going. There we go. Oh. So I'm going to throw out, finish off the night throwing a top water. Uh, Definitely our flute there, so, but maybe we'll get something on this. Wow, that is so cool. Oh, oh, throwing the jig, not the jig. He's gotta be a blue. Looks like, oh cool. Took me by surprise. We're gonna finish off with a nice definitely blue. Oh, did he grab the teaser? Oh, it's a double header, whatever it is. Double header blue. Very cool. Lucky to get them in. Just about had our our limit. Okay. Oh, we got that on top. It's one blue. <laughs> one on the popper, one on the teaser. Cool. This will get you. You can slam that. Oh, there he goes. 
So that was really cool. It really took me by surprise. Uh, I know that they were they were around, but they just didn't announce the blue fish. So it was really awesome to, to finish off with a doubleheader blue. <laughs> Thanks for watching.